Hello everyone, welcome to Lose It Weight Loss and Nutrition. My name is Michelle and I'm a certified health coach in weight loss, nutrition, and diabetes prevention. If you're new here, thank you for joining me and I have lost 126 pounds now. Uh, recently have hit my goal, very excited about that. And I'm also a diabetic and I follow the WW Blue Plan. I uh, love the sense of community and um, the connections that I've had with people and so that is something that I'm gonna keep doing. I also uh, track my calories and my macronutrients because as a diabetic I need to watch my carbohydrates uh, and that's really, really important to me and getting enough protein also. So today I'd like to talk to you about uh, comparing ourselves to others. Recently when I shared um, that I had reached goal, I had some people, and I've seen this before on social media, where they want to know exactly what I'm doing or what others are doing um, because they think that they're going to have the same outcome if they follow that exact plan. So if a person has lost 50 pounds, they want to know what did you do, what did you eat, because they feel that if they mimic it, that that's what's gonna happen for them. Every individual has different needs. So, and we've talked about that before in previous videos. So, you can do the exact same thing as another person and have a different outcome. And that's because we're individually wired differently. Everybody is different. So we all have a default setting. And a default setting is kind of the average that kind of works for everybody. And we have heard on multiple platforms, multiple plans, um, that 1,500 calories a day. Some are less, some are more. But it's the average is 1,500 calories calories a day recommendation to lose weight because the average caloric intake of a normal um, average American adult is a 2,000 calorie a day average, which is what you find on your food labels. So that's where all these plans are kind of, that's where the setting is. That's where the thermostat setting is. And the recommendations for macronutrients, your carbohydrates, your proteins, your fats. Uh, recommendation is right in the middle of those recommendations. So there's about 20 to 30 points, uh, percentages, differences that you can um, play with and, and in that range. And they kind of take it right dab in the middle and that's what makes the recommendation. So that's kind of what you find in um, health plans. So th that's what I call a default setting. So we kinda, most of us will fall into that category. There are some of us that don't. And what affects that category is age, um, our metabolism, of course, our health conditions, um, our abilities and disabilities, and um, hormone changes. So, that's why one way or one diet program may not work for another. Now, what I like about the WW plan is that we kind of figure that out on our own. They have the zero point food list, which is very healthy foods in general. So if you have a person that's just starting out that really had never dieted before, that those lists are very helpful because it gravitates them to um, healthier choices. And that's the very first step when um, you're dealing with uh, nutrition and diet. So um, I, I like that. The, some, but they don't focus on the amounts. And because we all have different needs and we're all different shapes and sizes and somebody that's 250 pounds can eat more and still lose weight than somebody that is 175 pounds. And that's where the points come in. Um, the points is wonderful. The point system 
If you're an average person that maybe you gained weight over COVID from working at home, maybe you recently had a baby, maybe you recently had a job change and you don't work as physical anymore, you've put on a few pounds. Before that, you may have never had a problem. Then that default plan is gonna work for you. Um, the default plan will work for everybody, but if you have some of these conditions that I'm talking about, it's going to affect that journey. There's going to be stalls. There's going to be fl fluctuations. There's going to be frustration. There's, um, there's going to be challenges. And I hope that in sharing this information with you, that it will ease your way through those situations when they do arise. Now, um, I wanted to talk about when, when we compare ourselves to others, I think part of it is very natural as human beings to do that. But when does it cross the line? It crosses the line when it's starting to affect your lifestyle, your happiness, it's not working for me, what is wrong with me. When you start going into those thoughts, then that's when you gotta put those brakes on and say, no, I'm not gonna have the same outcome as that person and I need to do something different. So what, as a health coach, what I like to do is uh, suggest that we concentrate on foods that we can have. Don't focus on the foods that you can't have. This is very important. So if you're just starting out and you have those zero point food lists or with any other plan, if they give you lists to follow, go through those lists and highlight your favorite items. And uh, you're gonna follow that by just that, making meals out of just those favorite foods while staying on that list. Now what's gonna happen over time is as you get used to those portion sizes and those foods, then maybe you'll get a little bit more creative. We'll share some more um, recipes and tips and you'll be willing to try something new here and there. I do suggest that everybody try a new recipe, just one a week, just one a week, um, because that's how I found some really wonderful recipes and recipe makeovers. I do recipe makeovers all the time. At first, I focused on the foods that I could have and that I enjoyed. Then I started looking for remaking recipes that I really enjoyed, the comfort foods, the desserts. I wanted to find a way of having that because I do not like saying that I cannot have something. It's always what I can have. So um, that, that is my suggestion, especially if you're just starting out. Now, how I want to explain the different individual needs is think of ourselves as a combination safe. And all of us come with a different combination. Figuring, but you don't get those numbers. You have to figure out those numbers, but you are given a 10 to 20 point uh, line in which your number falls. So we have to find our right combination between those 10 and 20 numbers. And you need to find three of those. And those three for your combination to your safe are your macronutrients. We all know that we have to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. Where we have trouble because we are so very different from each other is the macronutrients, your carbohydrates, your proteins, and your fats. So we need to find that magic combination for you. So a lot of times when people are starting out and they're following programs, it's not, they feel they lose this water weight and it's usually between, oh, I don't know, five to 10 pounds. And so they think, hey, this is great. What I'm doing is perfect. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. And then after that, um, your body will 
stay still for a little while and adjust, which is very normal. Sometimes people really struggle at that point though, and it's lasted more than a week, two weeks, sometimes even three or four weeks. And so what they start doing is they start comparing their, what they're doing to others to mimic it, to make the changes, and then they will say, um, okay, I'll try this, and then, but they don't give it enough time. And so they give up after a week because the scale didn't go down. And then they'll make another change, and then another change. Again, not allowing it enough time to see what the outcome is. So you're never really going to find that magic number, the magic number to your combination, because we're not giving it enough time and we're making too many changes too fast. The other thing that I see people do is they do what they always did, or when they didn't have a weight problem, or um, when I had my calculations done two years ago or five years ago, um, I just need to do that because that worked for me. Well, we change. Hormonal change, health conditions change, we age. It could be last year and you've had a bunch of changes from them. Maybe you lost weight from last year, maybe you gained weight from last year. So those numbers and those calculations may not work for you now. There's nothing wrong with you. It's just change. And we need to find those magic numbers, those combinations to your safe so that we can have success on our journey. It took me a very long time to find my settings. For me, because of the diabetes, I um, need to do uh, a lower carbohydrate, a higher protein, um, and a low fat. So normally, when you go lower carbohydrate, you increase your fat, but that's not what I do. I want lean, um, lean fats, healthy fats, olive oils, avocados, things like that I will eat, but I do not do the high fat, low carbohydrate because I don't feel good on it. Some people feel great on it and they have lots of energy and it works for them. For me, it didn't and I felt just terrible. And so I needed to find the right combination for me and it took me a long time and a lot of adjustments and giving those adjustments enough time so that I can pinpoint what it was that I needed to fix. So if I'm gonna make a change, I'm gonna start with my carbohydrates because of the diabetes. And usually my blood sugar will tell me whether I need to start there or not. Some of you may need to start with your protein. Maybe you're just not getting enough protein. Some of you are just eating too much. Even with those zero point foods, you can consume over 2000 calories a day eating zero point foods. Portion control is another reason why we're eating high in calories. Um, carbohydrates, too much carbohydrate will cause inflammation in the body and you can get bloating, you can get swelling. I'm very sensitive being a diabetic and so I get real puffy in the face and in the eyes and uh, bloating in the gut when I eat too many carbohydrates. That's me. You may not have the same issue. So need to find that right combination for you. Just gonna look at my notes here. Um, so a lot of times people say, well, what diet should I follow? Um, any diet is gonna work. Finding a diet that fits into your lifestyle is extremely important and it really doesn't matter what diet you are following as long as you feel well and you are tracking somehow, whether it's calories and macronutrients or points or whatever it is that you are going to track. You have to track, I can't express that enough. You have to track because that's what's gonna tell you where you need to make changes. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you're getting the right information. A lot of information, a lot of advice. Uh, you go on social media, someone will post a, a question and there are 200 replies on what they should do and they're contradicting each other. And they're contradicting each other because something works differently for different people. So that can be very frustrating. 
If you are looking for information, then go to your health provider, dietitian, nutritionist, health coach, um, and uh, online, make sure it's reputable sites that you're going to. Dot orgs tend to be reputable sites. And find out some information. Do your research. The other item is not all calories are equal. I see a lot of people who kind of eat junk. They eat junk, but they stay within their calories and they stay within their points and they lose weight. That didn't work for me, but I'm not one of those, but um, it does for some people. I want you to think about nutrition. And in the beginning, you're not. When you're first starting out, you don't even know what to eat, what are healthy foods, what the portion sizes are. And I'm not saying that you need to worry about this too. You'll get there. But nutrition is more important than calories. You can get so many empty calories or low density nutrition. And you know what? You will notice because you don't feel well. Fatigue, uh, feeling very lethargic, um, not feeling well, not having any energy. There's lots of signs um, to nutrition deficits. And so you need to pay attention to your body. And as that is what's happening to you, the very first thing that you can do is look at what you're eating. Look at the fuel you're putting into your body. And is it nutritious? So I always try to say, okay, Michelle, what does your body need right now? Not what I want, because I will always go for those carbohydrates, but what do I need? I also start by building all my meals with a protein first, always a protein first. What is that lean protein gonna be? And then uh, what am I gonna add to it? Vegetables, and then sauce, marinade, seasonings, and, um, and, and that's how I build it from there. You never want to start with a carbohydrate uh, because that, as your main staple, is um, it, it's very dense. It's a very dense, it could be nutritious, but it's a very uh, heavy in calories and carbohydrates. And so um, if you're having that just in one meal, you're not kind of spreading it out the way that our bodies kind of like that to be done, especially as we get older. So um, think about that. Think about the nutrition. Think about where you're getting your information from and is it reliable information? Now, some of you know, um, but some, for those of you that are new, uh, I do have a website, www.loseitweightlossandnutrition. I do offer calorie and macro calculations for anybody and that is a $25 flat um, fee and that I will tell you does need to be done every 15 to 20 pounds because our bodies will go through more changes hormonal changes and those will need to be ad adjusted now if you would like to do some one-on-one -on -one health coach uh, sessions with me you can do that um, at my website or you can email me at www, I'm sorry, at weight loss, let's start over again, at lose it weight loss and nutrition at gmail.com. I can also schedule some time with you that way. So why schedule time with me? If you get your macros and calories done, that's all you need, you're good to go. Well, that's the starting point. And so what we have to do is we have to give it two, three weeks to see if those numbers are gonna work for you. If not, then we need to adjust those numbers. So you could always get your calories and macros done, give it some time, and then if you decide that you'd like some one-on-one -on -one time, I'd be happy to help. Having a coach along the way, what do I offer you? I do the research for you. You can ask your questions to me, and I, if I don't know the answer, I will find the answer. I also help with recipe makeovers. I will help you find foods. I do food finds all the time. Food finds, support, tips and tricks, some words of encouragement. Please feel free to join my Facebook group 
and that is also Lose It Weight Loss and Nutrition. I will link all of this information into the descriptions and I really look forward to helping as many people as I can on their journey of health. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.